Aloha, this is George Rosita saying thank you so much for watching us on Seniors Living in Paradise. Together with my partner Derek Carisu, we bring you the best stories of our senior citizens across the big island of Hawaii. We also would like to say mahalo to the good people at KTA Superstores for bringing this program to you month after month as a community service. And now, without any further ado, let's get on with this month's show. Aloha! Welcome to, to George Yoshida's Kitchen. Wow, man, it's so good to be back here at a stadium of cookie right in here. I get energized when I'm in your kitchen, George. So, and, George. Yeah, Derek, this month is Thanksgiving. Oh, Thanksgiving. yeah. We're thankful for everything. So I tell many you, many man. Things, We're yeah. so, so lucky, yeah. man. We to are, all the people who watch, all the people you know, yeah. support us, really. I know, man. Yeah. I mean, they could be watching other <laughs> things, but no, they watch our show, so That's thank right. you so very much. Okay. Yeah? And yeah. it's Veterans Day, too. Yeah, it's yeah. Veterans Day this oh, month. Oh, yeah, we, we, we get so much to be thankful for, oh, so we yeah. want to thank all the veterans uh -huh. out there. Okay. So, so anyway, to kick off this holiday season there, uh, we're going to show some turkey. Okay. okay. It's turkey time. Exactly. So, for our seniors, we're going to show you something, you know. You don't have to bake the whole turkey. Exactly. All you do is go down to KTA and you can buy some some turkey breasts. Look at yeah. that. Yeah. See? Tell them you like I'm thick and then you can yeah. put gravy and everything yeah. on top. Yeah. Wow, these buggers are real. Cool. Outstanding. Yeah. Already Outstanding. cooked. Outstanding, yeah. But anyway, we have one of these hoagie rolls, yeah. and I want you to help me if you can uh, uh, butter it with mayonnaise, both sides, yeah? Oh, I like what you said, butter it with yeah. mayonnaise. <laughs> yeah. Oh, wow, Man, I look at that. It. Hey, where do you get these fancy spoons from? Oh, I gotta ask my wife. Oh, okay, I thought you. <laughs> Maybe she buy it for you for your birthday. Yeah, okay. So. Okay, next, mm. we're gonna put on some cranberry sauce. Wow, where you get this yeah. cranberry from? Okay, yeah. Oh, but you know what, Derek? We mixed it mm. with crushed pineapple. Oh, look at it. Okay. Okay. You don't have to uh, put pineapple in there, or what? but you can just use the cranberry. Okay. Yeah. So. My mm. brother smell oh no. Yeah. Cranberry and crushed uh -huh. pineapple. Okay. Hey. Okay. And on the other side, we'll put the uh, lettuce. Okay. And again, the lettuce is from where? KTA, <laughs> where you're somewhat special every okay. day. Now, put in that turkey. Oh, this is a big baby. You know oh. what I'm going to do? Yeah. Yeah. We'll get plenty of guys in the studio here, so we're going to stretch them out later. Oh, look yeah. how smart. Yeah. I tell you. But okay. this is really. You know, I went to Huckle School. <laughs> Gourmet. Okay. See how Look right at there. that. There you Perfect. go. Once again, you know, it's from KTA, so we can use turkey as leftovers, these sandwiches. Mm. <laughs> mm. Wow. Mm. Oh no. Mm. <laughs> mm. Happy Thanksgiving. Mm. Happy Thanksgiving. Mm. Okay, right back with more food. Right on. Mm. Every last Sunday in September, an annual AGA Veterans Memorial Service is held at the Veterans Cemetery in Hilo. It is the closest date the 100 Battalion Japanese American suffered their first casualty. Sergeant Shigeo Joe Takata, despite being injured, advanced toward hidden enemy machine gun fire to reveal the positions to his Conrad. Hawaii County Band was there playing patriotic music, setting the tone and mood for the ceremony. There was a Boy Scout, Troop 82, that decorated the cemetery with flags as well as served as escorts for the function. The Hill High School Junior ROTC posted and retired the colors and the honorary Harry Kim gave an awesome memorial address. Here's the Honorable Harry Kim with five AJA veterans. There were four reverends to chant and conduct the ceremonies and the sons and daughters of AJA veterans. Memorial Committee organized the program as well as offered their incense. At this ceremony, 
we're able to thank and honor our American Japanese veterans that served in the military. More so, it is a time we should remind ourselves of the powerful lessons these brave men taught us. These brave Americans of Japanese ancestry fought against the country their parents or grandparents came from in World War II. They became the most decorated unit for its size in the history of the United States. They showed the world the strength and importance of loyalty, duty, honor, humility, perseverance, shame, and putting the good of the group first. These are values and lessons we need to live by to become successful, productive citizens. The power and strength of people putting in 100% effort, working together towards a common goal, putting the good of the group first before themselves. I was so fortunate to meet Stacy Hayashi, author of Journey of Heroes, a story of the 100th Infantry Battalion and the 442nd Regimental Combat Team. This book, illustrated by Desmond Wong, is an easy reading manga. The cartoon characters are based on real life American soldiers. It is educational and easy reading and must read book for the heroes who impacted our lives and the lives of the future generation. We need to ensure their values and lessons are learned so they will live on forever. Oh, you know, George, every single program, I think yeah. I gotta show what, how, how every man should know how to cook. Okay. So, easy recipe. Easy kind. Yeah. Of. I go all around, look around for the cheap kind of <laughs> stuff. And here, yeah, I get this one here. Uh, this is chicken cutlet. Oh. Yeah, so it has all braiding and everything else. So what I did was I already fry it already. Oh. See, I fry them just like this. Yeah. Fry this, right? Is that pre-cooked? No, not pre-cooked. Oh. It's raw. That's why it tastes oh, better, okay? But it's all battered already. It's right? all battered, all seasoned. It's ready to go. All okay? you do is fry it. Exactly. Okay? Wow. Now, now okay. when you put it in like this, yeah. man, it's okay. But it's boring. So what I did, <laughs> I can get this curry. Yeah, this curry is so good. Because oh. it has all the vegetables and everything yeah. in it. And I will boil it in the boiling bag. Ooh! In so, the bag. In the bag wow. for five minutes. Okay. Look at that. Huh? Yeah. Five minutes I boil this. You can even microwave them for I think 90 seconds. Oh, okay. Mm. Okay. Yeah, it's a job. Uh, I guess I'm going to use knife. <laughs> so I get knife, carrot. Okay. Ah, uh, look at that. Pour right on. Oh. Yeah. Wow. Chicken katsu curry. You saw how fast it was? Yeah. yeah. You blink the eyes, finish your it. Chicken katsu curry. curry. Yes. Wow. Look at that. Look at yeah. that. And of course. So is any man can any do man can this. this. Huh? <laughs> what? Mm. 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 Oh. It's still alive. Mm. It's so hot. But it's so good. Oh. Wow. Oh. Mm. Mm. Yeah. This is a winner. Winner. Uh, chicken katsu curry. All Every the man holidays. can cook. Yeah, you know, you can ready made curry sauce. You just heat them up. And you get like a ready meat, like chicken katsu, and fry them up. So easy. Any man can learn how to cook. Oh, yeah. We'll be right we'll back. We'll be right back. Don't go away. Hi, I'm Pauline Fukunaga for Seniors Living in Paradise. For the month of November, we celebrate a national holiday, Thanksgiving Day. And we went around Hilo asking our seniors, what are they thankful for? Today, we're visiting with seniors who are 81 years young. And our first interviewee is Mark Nakamura. So Mark, what are you thankful for? I'm thankful for being 81 years old and still living, healthy, and most of all, I'm thankful for my friends, like your dad, John Ewan. 
Thank you. All my friends just make me happy. Next, I'd like to introduce Anita Matthews. Hi, I'm Anita Matthews. What I am most thankful for is living in Hawaii. Look at our blue skies and our wonderful people who are from all different faces of the earth. They are all truly the people that make me happy this time of the year and always, and I'm thankful for. Next, we have Robert Green from Pohoa. And uh, I'm here to talk about what I'm thankful for. Yes. I'm thankful for the fact that I did grow up here in Pahoa, in Mountain View, and went to Hilo High. But I'm most thankful for is my family, because they're all well, they're all fine, they're all doing what I would like to do. So next we have Lorraine Ishibashi. Hi, I am Lorraine Ishibashi from Hilo, born and raised, graduated Hilo High, of course, in 1953. So, hey, listen, I am living the life right now. I love my family. I so enjoy them. I'm so grateful for my health and my strength. And I'm grateful that I'm here to be with my classmates, enjoying this beautiful weather and being with my 91-year-old brother. So that's really a plus, and I'm so grateful for all of that. Thank you so much. And now we have a trio of our seniors, Jimmy Yagi, Harold Nishimura, and Kenneth Kameoka. Jimmy. Well, when I was 65 years old, I felt that I had maybe 20 years left in my life, if I'm lucky. And now that I'm 81, I don't have a whole lot of life, so I'm very grateful just to be alive. <laughs> Thank you. Well, I feel the same way that Jimmy does, that we're thankful that to live up to this age here and still be healthy and join your family for Thanksgiving. Thank you, Harold. Well, I'm thankful for being healthy, meeting my friends and getting together with my classmates, and I'm happy for them also. And next we have Lenore Van Giesen Sarau. Hi, I'm also known as the lady with a hat and a big warm smile. And I'm thankful for being 81 years old and I'm proud of it. And last but not least, we have our very own George Yoshida. I'm not 81 yet, but uh, pretty soon, Pauline, but I'm so grateful to be alive and I want to thank my good doctors and my wife, all the ones who have supported me. I also would like to say mahalo to the good people at KTA Superstore, Barry Taniguchi and his whole crew for sponsoring Seniors Living in Paradise for over 17 years as a community service. I also would like to say thank you to the many customers, to the loyal viewers and supporters. Hey, without you, we could never make it. And finally, I'd like to say mahalo to my partner, Derek Kurisu. For 17 years, I don't know how we could we could have stood each other, but I'm so grateful. He's the brainchild behind Seniors Living in Paradise. But Pauline, thank you again. We, we have so many things to be grateful for. Yes, indeed, George. So there you have it, all the things that our seniors are grateful for. Happy Thanksgiving. My Japanese friends wanted Portuguese sausage, but due to regulation, we couldn't bring it into Japan. So we decided to purchase ground pork and make our own sausage. I showed off my sausage device. Everyone thought it was a joke, so they brought out the cameras to film it. Today we made Portuguese sausage. Yeah, we in Japan here. We couldn't bring in any meat, so we have to make our own. I brought some mountain apple brand Portuguese sausage mix. About five pound ground pork. And here, this is a secret. I have some vinegar and some smoke, liquid smoke in here. Okay, so kore wa to kore. Okay, now it's all mixed up like this. Okay, and um, I made enough for like about five pounds mix. Okay, oh, yeah, assistant, can you mix it up please? Notice his arms, his hands, yeah? Hey, strong, yo. But what is mixing there? You see, I brought some artificial case in here and I have this device here, okay? You see? And then make sure you tie one end. Stop. So we stuffed the sausage in an artificial casing. Yeah, we don't have uh, machines, so. 
やったかしょやったかしょよいたかしょ Then you twist これ You see? これはソーセージやでこれはスポークスえねんいい Then the lady said, a better idea. Why don't you just stuff it by hand and not use your device? <laughs> yes, they were right. The sausage was easier to stuff and it looked much, much better. And I have a, hey, now, can you show my audience over here? <laughs> I have a good audience. Ah. Yes, I worked really hard stuffing all of the sausage. I needed to compress the meat so it wouldn't fall apart. As I was stuffing the sausage, I asked the ladies, and yes, they said they wanted to do it. It looked perfect. Then we wrapped it in aluminum foil, placed it in an aluminum pan, and brought it to Mr. Kimura, who built the pizza oven to have it smoked. Voila! Perfect, juicy, tasty Portuguese sausage. Mmm, oi she. Okay, John, this is the easiest dish to make yeah. for a great, great festive occasion, right? Like batayaki, so. mm -hmm. right? And you know, after batayaki, the next day you can grab this raw ingredient and make like shabu shabu, oh, or you can make nabe, or wow. whatever it is. So what I did, I had washed up green spray, you wash your vegetables. Wash some bean sprout here. I had some Chinese cabbage, okay? And I even put some bell pepper inside there. Oh, I, I see. I think everybody likes bell pepper. You yeah. like bell pepper? I like a lot. Yeah? I know <coughs> you like it. And, and the good thing about this bell pepper is that, you know, it, it adds to the color. Yeah. yeah. You don't think so. Yeah. yeah. I see, there you also have a eggplant. Oh, yeah. And yeah. then what else Salmon. I have? Salmon. What else I oh, have? You got some chicken here. Yeah, you and mushroom. some shrimp. Yeah, mushrooms. Yeah, you see, and then you can even use this nice, good. You wow. see, these are Ali mushrooms. Oh, yeah, I and see. put all these kinds of stuff. Chop them. Hey, local up. grown eh, that Yeah, mushroom. I chop them up. Yeah, yeah. yeah look, you oh. look at here. It's already sliced. I see. This is a uh, pork. Yeah. Pork. Yeah, thin sliced pork. Yeah. Yeah. Put some over here. Really festive here. Yeah. It's look, I got some chicken. Yeah. Yeah, all for KTA. Wow. Yeah. See how that is? Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You got them like that. Yeah. What do you think? Yeah, so how are you gonna cook this today? Don't worry, you cook it with butter. And then what I ah, do butter. Yeah, so you cook this first, right? Yeah. Uh, all the meat stuff and then yeah. later you put in the vegetable that I so you absorb I all see. the flavor. So even this look. Already cut it, oh. So easy, 